So this right here is my current camera bag. I think I paid around $25 for it. It served its use pretty well, especially for its price, but I've been dying for an upgrade. You see, there's nothing really wrong with this camera bag, except for the fact it's not very comfortable for long day use. So when I started hiking with it and what have you, even after like a mile or even two miles, it grew very uncomfortable. So honestly, it was time for an upgrade, and luckily, Manfrotto sent me a bag to look at, and that is the Manfrotto Street Slim Backpack. I've gotten to use this bag a few times, and honestly, I'm loving it so far. I find this bag to be a great solution, especially if you're hiking somewhere for like four or five, six miles, or if you're shooting a wedding, because honestly, wearing this bag, it's just, it's extremely comfortable. So diving right into some of the details of this backpack, I think it's a very modern, sleek look and it comes in this nice green shade. Now, personally, I love this green color, but only for like hiking or day use or personal use. I would much rather have a black backpack when I'm photographing a wedding because I feel like it's just a lot more discreet and this one just sticks out just a little bit too much for me. Unfortunately, this only comes in this color. So if you're someone like me that likes black bags, this might not be the option for you, but hopefully in the future, maybe they'll offer this bag in black. One of the things I really like about this backpack and honestly all Manfrotto products is that they always have really good build quality. Like this fabric feels nice and durable. The zippers with the fabric attached to it, it feels very durable, like it's not gonna rip anytime soon. So overall, it just feels like a very durable solution, which makes me feel very confident when protecting my camera gear when hiking. Another really cool feature is this fabric is water resistance. So that just adds an extra layer of protection to help protect your camera gear during light rain. So diving into what it can hold and what it can carry. If we look at these shoulder straps, there's two things here. This is a bungee cord that can easily hold a mini tripod. I've done it already. It works like a charm. It's nice to have a fast, easy, accessible tripod on your shoulder, even if it's a mini one. And then you have this small pouch that comes out and it can easily fit your phone in. Here, let me demonstrate that for you. So your phone will slide right in here and you can easily just, you know, have quick access if you don't want to keep it in your pocket. And especially if you're doing like, you know, photography with your phone or like you're shooting a vlog and don't want to get your camera set up yet, just the ability to pull it out, take a shot and throw it back in. It's just really a nice feature. Now the most important part, let's take a look inside. Inside you're gonna find three compartments and these compartments can easily fit a camera, a lens and then some batteries. Conversely, if you have your camera on your shoulder like a lot of you do now, I know I certainly do a lot of the times, you're gonna have no problem fitting three lenses in here. Now this top main compartment is something I really like and it's something I've blacked in my other camera bag because it's kind of only meant for cameras. And you get a lot of pouches here. You can easily store ND filters. Here, let me show you. Get in there. Oh man. See, it's just a perfect size for an ND filter to slide in and out. And you know, that's just, I really like that. And so I'm not digging around looking for my ND filters in a deep pouch. And not to mention, you know, there's quite a lot of room in here and you can really put a lot of stuff in there. Snacks, extra water. So this is truly a solution if you only want to take one day pack on a relatively longer hike, you know, four or five, six, seven, eight miles, and you don't want to carry a huge backpack, like, which is what I was kind of doing. I was kind of taking, you know, this bag right here and throwing it in a big 40 liter pack because I just didn't have the solution to take my camera gear in that pack along with enough supplies for a longer hike. And I can say, speaking firsthand, I did an eight mile hike with this guy the other day and it worked perfectly fine. Another compartment this has, it has a laptop pouch, which makes this pretty awesome for like, you know, airport or longer travel. Let's say you're on a work trip and you need to bring your laptop, but you don't want to carry a lot of bags. It slides right in there and it fits perfectly, feels nice and secure. It's just, this bag really has all the bells and whistles for that travel or photographer, nature photographer, landscape photographer, or what have you, anything similar to that. Let's go ahead and put this stuff back here. There's one lower pouch on the back. And again, it's just another, um, you know, like more accessible pouch that you have where you unzip this and there's a couple, oh, my laptop's still in there, my bad. There's a couple more little pouches here. I don't necessarily know if I feel comfortable putting any filters because it's on my back, but I'm sure it'd be fine. There's a lot of padding on this bag. It makes it really comfortable. So I'm sure ND filters would be fine back here but I don't necessarily know if I would ever use these. Now this bag's also modular. So let's say you don't want to access your camera by setting your bag down and ac accessing it from the front like here. It's gonna take this out and show you what I mean. So this entire part comes out. It's Velcro and it'll just come right out. A little rough, but you know, you do need it to be rough. So your, your stuff's not sliding around. 
and this entire pouch comes out. It's kind of nice. Let's say, here, I gotta take this other stuff out. Sorry about that, guys. Even the laptop sleeve is modular, so you can pull it right out if you don't need it. Now that we have the guts out, let's go ahead and take this pouch, flip it over, and slide it back in here. Get nice and secure with the Velcro. And let's put some camera stuff in there just to demonstrate. Zip the back pouch up. All right, so I completely reversed the topography of how the backpack works. Let's go ahead and take it off. And now you have a nice back access to it. If, you know, it does, it's a little smoother. I know some people like the back access more than accessing it from the front of the bag. Personally, not my preference, but if it's your taste, you can definitely just flip it around. So just the option of having to flip around, it's pretty cool. You don't really get that many modular bags that can change that much. And lastly, there's these tripod, or I use them for a tripod. It'll fit a nice travel tri tripod using your cup holder and these tie downs that will keep it nice and secure. And you have one on either side. If you want a tripod on either side, you're good. Um, enough room for water. All around this bag is the perfect landscape photographer backpack, street photographer backpack, or light travel backpack for photography. And I absolutely love it so far. If you're interested in getting this bag, I'll leave a link down in the description where you can check that out and you know, investigate whether or not you'd want one. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until the next one, I'll catch you in the next one.